What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. POS Ready 2009 is basically Windows XP but it has added 5 years of extended support from April 8th 2014 to April 8th 2019. Unfortunately it is no longer supported as of the time of making the video. Today is June 22nd, 2019, so that is pretty much two months after the end of support for POS Ready 2009. So you must upgrade it to like Windows 7 or Windows 10 or 8.1 if you have to. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you need is VirtualBox the password for Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs because it will work in this version the product key via DOS Dude One's website it works and I'm also gonna send a link a direct link to Microsoft's website to download the ISO so let's get started so you're gonna click on new and you're gonna type in Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 and you're gonna set it to Windows XP 32-bit then hit next I'm gonna bump up my RAM to 512 megabytes since I have 4 gigabytes of RAM then hit next then click on create and make sure you're set to create a virtual hard disk now Make sure you're set to VDI, which you can do whatever you want. VHD is basically virtual PC, and VMDK is for VMware. And then VDI is for VirtualBox. So hit next. Make sure you're set to dynamically allocated. Do not do fixed size. If you do the fixed size, it's going to take up the amount of space that you got here. Then hit next. And then I'm going to do it in a different location and then hit create. You can bump it up if you want but I'm going to leave it 10 gigabytes for purposes only. Then click on settings, storage, click on the th uh, click on the empty disk then click here then click on choose virtual optical disk file or it's right here then hit OK and then hit start. gonna it's gonna say Windows XP but in reality is Windows embedded POS ready 2009 it should start and I'm doing that because you're gonna have a product key as said here it says Windows embedded POS ready 2009 so click on next next and now you're gonna have to enter in your product key so that's gonna be included with the DOS Dude 1 uh, link it works it will work for this version so let me go ahead and type that in real quick so I'll be back alright I entered in the product key so now click on I accept the license agreement and then hit next then type in your name then hit next next then click on the unpartition space and then click create partition and then hit OK then click it again and then hit next I'm gonna uh, name it as POS ready 2009 you can leave it as new long if you want but I'm gonna type it in do a quick format because that will help you make the installation faster then hit next <coughs> excuse me then hit next next you can do typical minimum or custom I'm gonna do minimum and then type in your computer name then type in your password it works with your Windows FLP password so let me type that in real quick Then 
then hit next, next. Make sure it's set to work group and then hit next and hit install. And now what's going to do it's it's going to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video so I'll be back. Now it's going to restart. I made a mistake where I took out the disk before restarting. And you will have to have the uh, disk in or make sure you have the disk in. And do not hit any key to boot from the CD otherwise you will go to a constant loop. But leave the disk in because we're installing components, they're all on the disk. And now it's going to do the first boot agent, otherwise, or in other words, it's going to continue installing. It's going to restart like three times, so let it sit for a while and I'll be back. Alright, it's going to restart. It's going to say resetting setup flag. In other words, it's going to restart. Your computer is now restarting, in this case the virtual machine. Then again, do not hit any key to boot from the CD, otherwise you will go to a constant loop. A lot of people actually make mistakes where you see that and then it's going to do like a reboot loop. And you have to s keep setting it up again. So please do not hit any key to boot from the CD. It now says resetting setup flag. It's not going to restart yet, but it will eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video so I'll be back. Alright, it's now restarting. This is our third restart point, I think. And again, do not hit any key to boot from the CD. Otherwise, again, you'll go to a constant loop. That was our third restart point or something. Yep. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, so I'll be back. Alright, that was our fourth restart point, and then again, do not hit any key to boot from the CD. It's going to keep rebooting until it gets to the login screen and now it's saying restarting or resetting setup flag and then it's gonna instead of restarting it's gonna get you guys to the login screen might take a while now it's the chance to get to the login screen. Yep. So type in administrator. And then the password, type it in er type it in that you that you got from the dusted uh, the password link or you can type in another password. You can, you can create your own password if you want and then hit OK and there you go that's how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 if I right click my computer and hit properties it will say Microsoft Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 version 2.0 service pack 3 so it's based out of Windows XP Embedded or Professional service pack 3 If I hit Win R and then type Winver, it'll say right here Microsoft Windows version 5.1, build 2600, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. So that's how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon when you upload new videos or make a live stream. Follow me on Twitter at RivenUpAdito17, and you can also follow me on Instagram at RivenUpTransitFan. So that's how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 in VirtualBox. So, I'll see you next time.